thought the father in wonder Will he feed me and clothe me when I have gone gray? Smell of manure, a cold winter evening The breath of the beasts of the fields kept them straw of a stable, the answer of God in the simplest form. Don't be afraid, cried the chorus of angels, as the night was a glow like the light of the Promise is made in the mud of a manger Fragile and helpless this Jesus is born Will he release us? The shepherds were asking As they left their lambs in the Death and the yoke of the Roman. Will he be our general? Will he lead us home? Don't be afraid, cried the chorus of angels. As the night was a glow like the light of the morn. and helpless this Jesus is born. Watching and waiting with so much impatience, how can we think that the Lord How can we think that this day was the one? Don't be afraid, cry the chorus of angels. As the night was a glow like the light on the moon. The promise is made in the mud of a manger. Fragile and helpless, this Jesus is born. The answer of God in the simplest form. Good Christian friends, we
silenced a thousand fears, a fate that can hobble an ocean of tears, the peace of Christmas Day. Total the strife.
It's so good to have you here tonight. If you haven't already, go to our website, www.christtrinitychurch.org, and there you'll find a button on the front page where you can download a bulletin. The bulletin has all the music we'll be singing, along with all the prayers, so that you can follow along and participate as well. We all know that this is not the Christmas that any of us expected or wanted. And so we have gathered a group of people together with incredible talents to bring you music and lessons to make this Christmas special, even though it has to be different. We hope that this time is a time where you will remember that no matter what is happening in the world, God is shining light into darkness. Let us take a moment now to prepare our hearts and our minds for worship. We begin with the dialogue. Jesus, the bright morning star, shines light in the world. By day and night he shines for all to see. Jesus was born in the midst of injustice and poverty, that the world may see the justice and richness of God. God so loved the world that God sent Jesus, so that all who believe in him may not perish, but have eternal life. 
Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus, Jesus is, is the, the light, light of our lives. Sing to God a new song, a, a song, song of hope, hope joy, and peace, peace around, around the world. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray together. Gracious God of heaven and earth, you have thrown a lifeline to us in our darkness, a beam of light that shines through Jesus. Though born in a manger, he is the firstborn of all creation. Though crucified on a cross, he is the Lord of life. Fill us with wonder and joy of his presence in the world and in our hearts. Amen. A reading from Genesis, Heaven and Earth. First, this. God created the heavens and earth. All you see, all you don't see. Earth was a soup of nothingness, a bottomless emptiness, an inky blackness. God's spirit brooded like a bird above the watery abyss. God spoke, light, and light appeared. God saw that light was good and separated light from dark. God named the light day. He named the dark night. It was evening, it was morning, day one. God spoke, lights come out, shine in heaven's sky, separate day from night, mark seasons and days and years, lights in heaven's sky to give light to earth. And there it was. God made two big lights, the larger to take charge of day, the smaller to be in charge of night. And he made the stars. God placed them in the heavenly sky to light up earth and oversee day and night to separate light and dark. God saw that it was good. God said, let there be light, and there was light. God said, let there be night, and there was night. God said, let there be day, and there was day. To follow the night, and it was God, brother. And it was good, brother. And it was good, brother. And it was God's time, good. God said, let there be light, and there was light. God said, let there be night, and there was light. God said, let there be day, and there was day. A reading from Micah. The leader who will shepherd rule Israel. But you, Bethlehem, David's country, the runt of the litter, from you will come the leader who will shepherd rule Israel. He'll be no upstart, no pretender. His family tree is ancient and distinguished. Meanwhile, Israel will be in foster homes until the birth pangs are over and the child is born and the scattered brothers come back home to the family of Israel. 
He will stand tall in his shepherd rule by God's strength, centered in the majesty of God revealed. And the people will have a good and safe home, for the whole world will hold him in respect, peacemaker of the world. A reading from Luke, a virgin conceives. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to the Galilean village of Nazareth to a virgin engaged to be married to a man descended from David. His name was Joseph and the virgin's name, Mary. Upon entering, Gabriel greeted her. Good morning. You're beautiful with God's beauty. Beautiful inside and out. God be with you. She was thoroughly shaken, wondering what was behind a greeting like that. But the angel assured her, Mary, you have nothing to fear. 
God has a surprise for you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son and call his name Jesus. He will be great, be called Son of the Highest. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. He will rule Jacob's house forever, no end ever to his kingdom. Mary said to the angel, But how? I've never slept with a man. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the highest hover over you. Therefore, the child you bring to birth will be called Holy Son of God. And Mary said, Yes, I see it all now. I'm the Lord's maid, ready to serve. Let it be with me, just as you say. Then the angel left her.
A reading from Matthew, the birth of Jesus. The birth of Jesus took place like this. His mother Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph. Before they came to the marriage bed, Joseph discovered she was pregnant. It was by the Holy Spirit, but he didn't know that. Joseph chagrined, but noble, determined to take care of things quietly so Mary would not be disgraced. While he was trying to figure a way out, he had a dream. God's angel spoke in the dream. Joseph, son of David, don't hesitate to get married. Mary's pregnancy is spirit-conceived. God's Holy Spirit has made her pregnant. She will bring a son to earth, and when she does, you, Joseph, will name him Jesus. God saves, because he will save his people from their sins. This would bring the prophet's embryonic sermon to full term. Watch for this. A virgin will get pregnant and bear a son. They will name him Emmanuel, Hebrew, for God is with us. Then Joseph woke up. He did exactly what God's angel commanded in the dream. He married Mary, but he did not consummate the marriage until she had the baby. He named the baby Jesus. Is risen, is risen. 
reading from Luke, an event for everyone. There were sheep herders camping in the neighborhood. They had set night watches over their sheep. Suddenly God's angels stood among them and God's glory blazed around them. They were terrified. The angel said, don't be afraid. I'm here to announce a great and a joyful event that is meant for everybody, everybody worldwide. A savior has been born in David's town, a savior who is Messiah and master. That is what you're to look for, a baby wrapped in a blanket and lying in a manger. And at once the angel was joined with a huge angelic choir singing God's praises. supposed to go. The shepherds watching over their flocks by night did not expect an angel of the Lord to appear, let alone a multitude of the heavenly host. This was not how it was supposed to go. When Joseph trudged with a very pregnant Mary down to Bethlehem, not finding a room in the inn and having her child in a barn, that was not how this was supposed to go. And this, all of this, this is not how it was supposed to go. A heavenly host of stage lighting, giving birth to movie files and, and laying them in a drop box, editing together faces wrapped in bands of cloth, watching Christmas Eve worship on TV, None of this is how any of it was supposed to happen. 
But as unexpected and as unplanned as it was for those shepherds abiding as they were in their fields by night, there did turn out to be an incredible gift wrapped up in the folds of that evening's darkness. After all, most nights of sheep watching, you just don't get an angel of the Lord showing up, let alone a heavenly host. And as unexpected and as unplanned as this night was for Mary and Joseph, as much as a barn and a manger, I am sure, was not what Mary had imagined, there did turn out to be quite an incredible gift wrapped up in the folds of those swaddling clothes. After all, it's not in just any normal night that God chooses to enter the world, wrapped up in flesh and bones, with the intention of finding each one of us and wrapping us deeply in the folds of the arms of the divine and infinite love. It seems then that in spite of the very real fact that this is not the normal, expected, or even hoped for Christmas any of us had imagined, in spite of missing many of the things, and especially the people, that we hold most dear, it does seem to me that it is God's way to wrap miraculous gifts into times just like this. And so as the shepherds found angels wrapped in the folds of darkness, as Mary and Joseph found the Christ child wrapped in the folds of those swaddling clothes, I think we too should expect to find wrapped in the folds of the darkness of this year, some unexpected gifts from God. According to the way the story goes anyway, that does seem to be the way God works. Because tonight, like those shepherds, we too sit in darkness. Not the darkness of night, but the darkness of this pandemic filled with loneliness an exhaustion, sickness, and an unimaginable amount of death. Tonight, like Mary and Joseph, we're not anywhere where we expected to be, nor surrounded by the people that we had hoped would be with us. And yet, like those shepherds, and like Mary and Joseph, I believe that with just a little bit of Christmas grace, we might find as they did. Even in the midst of 2020's unexpected this, I believe that we too have gifts from God given especially to us for this particular COVID Christmas. For me, when I've taken the time to look around, God's gifts for me in this time have shown up in the form of incredible people. Some I've known for a while, but others I wouldn't have even had the chance to meet, let alone get to know, if this had been a normal year. These people, these gifts from God, as they have begun to be unwrapped this year, they have grown to form this compassionate and generous community like none I've ever experienced before. It is God's perfect gift to me in the midst of this darkness. A gift I would never have been able to realize this way if 2020 had gone as planned or expected. Now don't get me wrong, I'm the first in line every day to pray to God to make 2021 more normal, better planned, and frankly, it would be just fine with me if compared to 2020, 2021 was downright boring. But for today, for Christmas, I want to invite each one of you to do as those shepherds first did, to do as Mary and Joseph did, 
and to look deeply with all of your being through the darkness and there see the gifts which I am certain God has given you for this most peculiar of years. Look deeply into the night sky, the same sky that those shepherds looked into, and see the ways that God has broken into your darkness this year. Ways that might have only happened in this most peculiar of years. Who was that angel of the Lord who showed up to you unexpectedly? Who are the ones through all of this who make up your heavenly host? Who was the voice that encouraged you to not be afraid in the midst of a seemingly endless parade of headlines? Where have you seen light shining in the darkness? When have you known, really known, in a way that you'll never be able to fully explain, that God had in that particular moment just decided to sit down with you? Be silently present with you right where you were so that you just knew in that moment that you weren't going through all of this alone. If Christmas has a particular message for us in this most peculiar of years, it is that God gives the most incredible, wonderful, life giving, world-transforming, simply, simply spectacular gifts right smack dab in the midst of times just like this. May God give you, on this most unusual Christmas, the gift of eyes to see, hands to unwrap, and grace to live into the gifts which God has most certainly set before you. And may those gifts see you through these times. Amen.
reading from Matthew, scholars from the East. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem village, Judah territory, this was during Herod's kingship, a band of scholars arrived in Jerusalem from the East. They asked around, where can we find and pay homage to the newborn king of the Jews? We observed a star in the eastern sky that signaled his birth. We're on pilgrimage to worship him. When word of their inquiry got to Herod, he was terrified. And not Herod alone, but most of Jerusalem as well. Herod lost no time. He gathered all the high priests and religion scholars in the city together and asked, where is the Messiah supposed to be born? They told him, Bethlehem, Judah territory. The prophet Micah wrote it plainly. It's you, Bethlehem, in Judah's land, no longer bringing up the rear. From you will come the leader who will shepherd rule my people in Israel. Herod then arranged a secret meeting with the scholars from the east. Pretending to be as devout as they were, he got them to tell him exactly when the birth announcement star appeared. Then he told them the prophecy about Bethlehem and said, Go find this child. Leave no stone unturned. As soon as you find him, send word, and I'll join you at once in your worship. Instructed by the king, they set off. Then the star appeared again, the same star they had seen in eastern skies. It led them on until it hovered over the place of the child. They could hardly contain themselves. They were in the right place. They had arrived at the right time. They entered the house and saw the child in the arms of Mary, his mother. Overcome, they kneeled and worshipped him. Then they opened their luggage and presented gifts, gold, frankincense, myrrh.
is a life of gathering gloom, sorrowing, sighing, bleeding, dying, sealed in a stone cold tomb.
tune our voices with the songs of angels. Let us pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. The shepherds sing, Jesus Christ is born. Let your church throughout the world proclaim this good news over the hills and everywhere. Unite the voices of all your faithful people in songs of praise and rejoicing. Hear us, O God. Your, your mercy, mercy is great. great. Heaven and nature sing joy to the world. Give respite to flocks, fields, and those who tend them. Come near to us in the beauty of the nighttime, the shining of the stars, and the hush of a world at rest. May our wonder at your creation rouse our care for all the earth. Hear us, O God. Your mercy, your mercy is great. The angels sing peace on earth. Come quickly to still the strife of this world. Hush the noise of war and violence in places of unrest. Inspire the leaders of all nations to seek lasting peace and sustainable provision for all in their care. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Mary sings melodies of comfort to her newborn child. Bring rest and reassurance to those facing struggles this night. Shelter travelers and those without homes. Console those who lie awake due to pain or anxiety. Be with those who work in hospitals and provide care this night. Heal those who are sick or hurting especially those suffering with COVID-19, and all those we now remember in the quiet of our hearts. Hear us, O God. Your mercy, Your mercy is great. great. The heavenly chorus sings glory to God in the highest. We give you thanks for all the saints who continue to proclaim your glory in word and deed in these most challenging times. Join us together this holy night in joyful praise around your eternal throne. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. God of mercy, come quickly to us with grace upon grace as we lift these and all our prayers to you. In the name of Jesus, amen. amen. Let us pray the prayer our Lord Jesus taught us, praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God, all creatures here below. You are the shepherds telling this story. We tell it in the streets and across the land. You are the wise ones worshiping with thanksgiving. We worship with gifts of song and service talents, and treasures. You are the angels announcing peace. We live with joy and go now in peace. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Sit, Leo, sit. Good dog. <laughs>